Okay, so I'm going to attempt to show how to um, print from your brother printer uh, on your Android phone. So first thing you're going to want to do um, is you're going to go to the App Store if you don't already have this. So go to the App Store however you want. Um, I have the App Store up here, so I go on this, and then I can push this to go to the App Store. Hopefully it's recording still. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. After you do that, you're going to want to search Brother. Um, and then you're going to want to uh, install this Brother Eye Print and Scan. If you don't know how to do it that way, the other way you can do this is just swipe down, go to your settings here. Okay, you're going to open Connections. In Connections, you're going to want to open uh, more connections down here. Okay. So more connection settings, then you have printing here. So there's the printing option. If you don't have the brother one, you can click the download plugin here. It'll show you all the plugins here that you can do for printing. Um, there are other ones too, but these are the ones I guess that most people use. All right, so we're going to go back. Oh, not back there. We're going to go back to the settings. Okay. Back to the connections, and then we're going to go back to more connection settings, and then printing. Okay, so in this printing thing, you're going to have this Brother Eye Print, uh, Brother Print Service plugin. So what you do is you tap on it. You don't tap this little toggle thing here. You tap the Brother Print Service. Then it's going to say searching for printers. You just wait for this, and eventually um, it should show your printer. And... If it works, then it's going to show up when you go to do the regular printer. So here you can see my printer is this MFC, blah, 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 whatever thing. Okay, so that's what it shows. I'm going to exit that. Okay, if yours didn't show the printer, uh, make sure that your printer is connected to the Wi-Fi and your phone needs to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. Don't, don't connect to a different Wi-Fi. If you're on different Wi-Fis, it's, there's a good chance it's not going to work. They need to be using, like, the same uh, IP address stuff. All right, so, okay. After you get all of that set up, if your still is having problems, the trick, one thing you want to do is go to the settings, right? You're going to scroll down, go to apps, in the apps, look for the brother printer thing. So this is if you already tried installing it and you messed it up. But uh, let's go to... Okay, where is it? So brother print service plugin. Press on that. All right, so you want to go to permissions. I don't know why it says no permissions allowed. It should be on. So I'm going to go to locations and then click allow only while using the app. Okay. Um, actually, I think the permissions aren't needed, but anyways, let's go back, so we'll see. So what I did to fix mine, because it was having problems when I switched my router, um, I had to click force stop at the bottom down here, alright, and then just say okay, force stop it, okay. After you force stop it, then you click on the storage one here. After you go to the storage, you want to go to the bottom and say clear data. So that will basically wipe it out so it's like your app is like clean installed kind of thing. All right, so if it, so that's if it's still not working. Then we're going to go back into the settings. Again, we're going to go back into connections, uh, more connection settings, printing again, and then press on the Brother Print setting, Service plugin, the logo area. All right, let it search again. Okay, might take a while. Again, make sure that your printer and your phone are on the same network. And there you go, it's showing up. So this is what I mean by the IP address. So the 10.178.1.199. So the 10.178.1 um, needs to be the same. And then the last number um, from your phone and, and your printer can be different. All right, sorry about that, I'm getting messages right now. But anyways, that's, so now you see the printer. I'm going to open up Chrome, and I opened a Google web page. <clears throat> so when you push the three dots here, um, they don't have, like, a direct button that says print. But we, what you do is you click share. After you click share at the bottom, you see this print option. So if you look right now, it's showing the printer here, but this isn't the right thing. It's remembering the old stuff. 
So right now it's saying the printer's not available. So to fix that, you press the down arrow in the upper right corner. And then see, as you can see, it's not doing anything. You would go to all printers. And then all printers, you would see your printer here. If you don't see it, you can try add printer. But see this brother print thing says cannot add printers. So you have to add it doing that way that I showed you earlier when you open the <coughs> connection settings, the printers, and then click on the brother. But there you go. You see this one. One is highlighted and one's not, or one's lit up and one's grayed out. So the grayed out one, I'm going to press and hold that and then tell it to forget that because I don't need that one. And then this new lit up one, that's the one that you press. And now you see it's loading the preview and here you can see now the printer is ready to print. You would click that yellow button and it will print it out. I don't want to print it. But here you can change like the paper size. You can um, change um, the orientation to portrait or landscape. You can tell it how many pages to print. Um, you got if you want to print double sided on the long edge or short edge. We got the color settings, black and white copies um, you got more options so you can change it to like normal or um, or bad quality uh, normal is the lowest quality fine quality or best quality and then you can do layout you can have two pages printed onto one piece of paper or four pages printed onto one piece of paper and yep yeah, that's pretty much it so hopefully this video helped you guys if it did please like and subscribe share my channel with others I was having a problem. I had my printer installed with my old um, my old router, and then when I switched my router and my internet service, then it wouldn't reconnect because it was trying to remember the old IP address. If you set a um, IP address on your printer, uh, you want to make sure that that IP address is matching your new modem and router. So. If you check your, um, so right now you see this 10.178.1.199 thing, right? Okay, so if I were to go into my Wi-Fi here, let me see if I can show this somehow. So if I go to the settings, so here you can see, yeah. So now you can see my IP address for my phone is this 10.178.1.125. So you want the 10.178.1, those first three sets of numbers to match. In most people's setups, it's going to be like 192.168.1 and then some number. Or if you have like Comcast, it's going to be like 10.1.10 and then some and then something else. All right. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.